Hello everyone. Today we will continue with the uh, practical for selection control structure. So first we start with single selection using if. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to construct program using selection control structures. First, we see the single selection using if statement. So, for this problem statement, print the message you are entitled to vote for a person whose age is above 21. So, for the first step, uh, you must identify IPO. So, for this problem statement, what is the output? So, this is the... Your so this is your output. You are entitled to vote or no output if single statement means. Second, what is the input? So based on this problem statement, age is above 21. So it's clear age is the input. For process, determine whether age entered greater than 21 or not. Second, we see the pseudocode. So this is the pseudocode for the first problem statement. Start with start and read age. Use any suitable verb like input, read, okay, read age. So next, uh, follow the follow by the condition if age greater than. 21. If age greater than 21, print message you are entitled to vote. So, uh, if you want to write print message, also can. You just write print you are entitled to vote, also can. Then, to terminate this if block, write the and if. So, this one just a recap only. So, how you want to convert this to the code? To Java segment code. Okay, first step. So for start, use the open curly bracket. Okay, then this one is your input. Input. So convert to coding. So as usual, h equal to sc dot next integer bracket and end with the semicolon. Second line, if you see, this one is condition. So, you just copy only this one. If, uh, you write the bracket, put the bracket, age greater than 21. So, if true means, the computer check true means, print, you are entitled to vote. So, to write in uh, Java, use, if you, just remember, if you want to print a display, you must use system.out.print as usual. So, then, okay, double code. Put the double code from compulsory to put the double code for the display message. So, you are entitled to vote. Okay. Then, bracket. Don't forget the semicolon. Then, we have an... Sorry, this one is stop. Eh? Stop. Start, stop, close curly bracket. This one example for Java segment code. Next, we see how you want to write a complete Java program for this problem statement. Okay, first, uh, if you see first line, you must write the import Java dot dot scanner. Still remember what this for scanner class which is uh, defined in a java util package okay okay then we have a second line class name so here i write class code based on the problem statement so but make sure uh mean the java file created same as the class name if you see class is a keyword for a, a java program so open 
Okay, open and close curly bracket indicate the start and end of the class. Third line. This one, uh, method main. Okay, a method main is compulsory in a Java class to run a program uh, and call a method. So we have a open and close curly bracket to indicate the start and end of the main method. Okay, fourth line, uh, scanner st equal to new scanner uh, system dot in and with the semicolon. This one for create an object SC of a scanner class. The read H. Still remember read H. So H become a variable. So before you write the H, make sure you write the data type. So you can use integer. So integer H and the semicolon. Okay, then we have our system dot out dot print enter H. So we use this statement for user pen. Okay. So next we have uh, info statement. So h equal to sc dot next integer and with the semicolon. So here you don't need to write again the data type because you already declare here integer h. Okay. Then we have a uh, condition. So condition you just copy. If h bracket uh, h greater than 21, if true means print you are entitled to void. So use uh, remember if print display must use system dot out dot print. You are entitled to void. Make sure you put the double quote because you want to display this message. Then end with the semicolon. Okay, here we have two curly bracket, open curly bracket, make sure, and with the close curly bracket. Okay, this is an example for second uh, question for single using if statement. Write a complete Java program that will determine the past status of a student based on mark key in by the user. So, passing mark is 50. So, as usual, first step you do the problem analysis. So, for this problem statement, the output is pass. Pass or no output. No output. Okay. Next, we see the input. Okay, so if you want to determine the past status of a student based on mark. Okay, so already state here. So this is the input. Okay, for process, so you can write uh, determine whether the mark entered greater or equal to 50. So this uh, example, write the pseudo code. So as usual, start, stop. Read mark. So uh, just now we already discussed the input is mark. So we just copy the input right here mark. If mark greater or equal to 50, print pass. And if to terminate if block, this if block, start and stop. So this is the code. Now, how you want to write the segment code? Okay, so First step, start, so we have open curly bracket, stop, close curly bracket.
bracket. So read mark. So you can write the data type. So mark is usually you use double data type. So double mark equal to SC next double. Then and read the semicolon. Okay. So then if mark greater or equal to 50, so this one you must use uh, operators. Suitable operator. So mark greater equal to 50. So if true means print pass. So use this output statement. System dot out dot print pass. So yeah. make sure n equals m color. This one close the leaf bracket. So please remember this one is a Java segment code. This is a part of the now we see how you want to write complete Java program. So just add on the first line import Java. This one is first line, second line class pass. Make sure uh, if you write the name class name. It's really with the problem statement. Don't forget the open curly bracket. So this one is second line. For third line, your method, main method. Open curly bracket. Don't forget third line. Then sc equal to new system dot in and n with the semi colon. So this is the fourth line. Okay, next for read mark. So usually for user-friendly coding, we will write the uh, display message for the user. So read mark, double mark equal to SC next double bracket and with the semicolon. So this one is input statement. Okay. So if mark greater or equal to 50, print pass. Uh, so condition. So we write like this. Use a suitable operator greater or equal to 50. So system dot out dot print pass. So uh, print this one output statement. So use system dot out dot print pass and with the same. So this is the complete Java program.